Hello! Hi! What a discussion. Wow, wow. Wow, how we, uh, what's going on, guys? How we doing? Oh, my goodness. Fantastic interview. Yeah, I thought it was a good discussion, dude. Um, you know, there, there are always so many questions that I have. And unfortunately, asking a question in some circumstances is... Uh, there are certain questions that can lead um, a discussion the right way and certain questions that can lead discussions the wrong way. A, a skill that I am always still developing, because this is all very new to me, is knowing which questions are going to do which under what circumstances. And I have so many questions for Yuri. Uh, I, I don't even... I can't even explain. <laughs> Trolls were prolif prolific tonight. Yeah, they're going to be. I actually had to talk with Yuri ahead of time about it. I was like, hey, bro, you know, like, um, there's going to be people that disagree that you're there in the first place. Uh, there's also going to be people that literally have no idea who you are and just want to say mean things. They just want to watch your world burn. And then there are going to be people that are, are actively interested in understanding and you're or not understanding and want to understand your story. And that's who the show is for, right? Uh, I, I should say the first and the third. Because helping people understand other folks' thought process for making their own decisions from a freedom perspective, which is supposed to be like an American value. <laughs> yeah. Do whatever the fuck you want. Does Yuri have trench foot? I don't think so. I need a nice calming video game stream to let me brain relax after that uh, heavy of a talk. It was a heavy talk. Man, I can't get this shit open. Bro. And I need a drink uh, of my sweet tea. You too. What's up, man? That was best interview on Funker 530, brother? Uh, so far, yeah, maybe. You know, we've had we've had three good informative interviews this month. I, I want to say this month. We had Civ Div. That was informative, valuable, to help us understand, right? We had Aiden. Shit, childproof. Aiden Aslan came on to help us understand his time in captivity. Dude was stabbed. Beaten. And then we had Yuri, who's an absolute badass. Come on. That was amazing. Ready ever play War Thunder? Yeah. New mouse? Nice knife. That's my dad's knife. Yeah. That's my dad's buck knife. Shortly before he died, he actually gave it to me. Um... You know, the, the more I think about it, not to not to like tear 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 the chat down. Oh, there's a, there was a pull tab right here, like a stupid asshole. The more I think about it, he was kind of conditioning us for him passing. He gave me the knife. He, one day he was like, "Hey, you know, I I know you're into knives and sharpening knives. Would you mind putting an edge back on this for me?" Uh, first of all, he's the one that taught me to sharpen knives, so I know he knows what he's doing. Um. And then I, I did, and I gave it back to him, and he was like, "Nah, just hold on to it for me. I'll I'll get I'll get it some other time." Well, fast forward by like four months, and he died. So, Josh next. Oh, we'll have Josh on a, a ton coming up very soon. Josh and I are about to kind of step off in a, a very special direction. Well, what what we think is going to be pretty cool. Um, we're going to start to cover some pretty complex shit. Try a. Uh, you know, these are like $20 questions on mine and Josh's $5 budgets. Budget brains. But there's more that we want to talk about that I I do my best to not get into. Why, why can't the game be started? I do my best to not get into because it's not combat footage. How old was your dad when he passed? He's, uh, I want to say in his late 60s. Yeah, that's a tough story too. Uh, that was a couple years ago at this point, though. I actually tweeted out, like, the whole story. One day, just a couple weeks ago, I was just like, you know what? I want to tell the whole story. I'm trying to get Tarkov launched, but the game won't start. Yeah, game cannot be started. All right, I guess we're going to sit here and drink bourbon. Whatever. <laughs> we'll just chat. Late 60s, too young. Yeah, so, I mean, it's it's tough, too. Like, the day before he passed, he was uh, he was here at the house for my do youngest daughter's birthday. I don't know. And one day, uh, 
he, he went out to work. He worked uh, uh, maintenance in the mobile home park I grew up in. He went to work, came home for lunch, took a nap, um, and woke up and died. Yeah. He lives on my memories of telling stories. Of oh, yeah. I got a lot of stories about that old bastard. <laughs> Podcast, you and Josh and a guest. You might be onto something there. Get my nicotine thing out of my face. Hey, you might be onto something there. Weird. What's the appropriate number of porn tablets? Dude, I had to really keep myself from dying of laughter for that. I, I try to maintain as much, like, kind of even keel. <laughs> But that was funny. That was funny. Yeah, the game won't launch. I don't know what's going on. I might restart my machine or something, I guess. Oh, wait. I understand. I understand what's happening here. I was trying to launch the uh, test server for Tarkov. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to fart around in Tarkov a little bit. I'm not going to play very seriously tonight kind of want to decompress from that I mean, was that a dab I don't know it was not mm -mm. I don't know that I have ever dabbed no how you been big fella I'm always good Gareth it's good to see you boss nice hair nice face goodness gracious I want to dab, never have. It's not difficult. I just don't really have a reason to. All right, let's see if we, let's see if the servers are still on fire. We're gonna scavy boy on there. You're dabbing for everyone right now? Good, get an extra one in for me. Did you guys see the video I tweeted of the bird that was dabbing, trying to get him some, and then the bird flew away from him? That poor dude. Great stream on 5.30 night. Yuri was a great guest. Yuri was awesome. Yuri is awesome. I, I feel like... I feel like we would have talked for hours. And hours and hours. And that's one of the reasons that... We're going to do the podcast. We're going to do... We're going to do like uh, a... Uh, I don't exactly know what we're going to call it either though. Because if you call it something specific... Then you can only cover like one thing. Right? I don't want it to be like the war podcast. Then we can only talk about war. I don't want to always talk about war. Don't. Sometimes I want to talk about tube foods and smoking meat. Or, I don't know, combat sports. Non-combat sports. Yes, Anthony, we're working on it. It's going to be Josh and I. That's the plan right now. War crimes was an interesting question, but it makes sense that Ukrainians will want to keep their support happy. That's what... So... That's what I've said over and over again. I'm like, look, Ukraine's not going to be committing a bunch of war crimes systematically. That, that kind of shit's going to happen. It's war. It's it, the United States. It's happened to the United States. Uh, war's gross. Shit like that happens. Ukrainians hold those people accountable to those things, though. Right? They do. It is what it is. But systematically speaking, that's not something Ukraine's going to want to play around with. There's a, someone better than Josh to host with. Uh, no, Will would be terrible. Bunker would be terrible. He'd just talk about his chickens. Will would just talk about the latest deer he bagged. I won't tell him you said that. <laughs> Running on fumes. The victor tells the story. I've talked about that before, too. They do. It's kind of the way it goes. Go around and go scav it out. We're in the scav QEUE right now. Might be a little while. Josh will talk about his girlfriend. Never mind. Josh doesn't have a girlfriend. Uh -uh. I'm the closest thing Josh has to a girlfriend. I've been getting hooked on you guys' stuff pretty cool. Love hearing your take on 
your take a lot on the videos. That's actually very new to us, right? And the, the core of the platform is still raw, raw footage. That's what's on the app, uh, the website. But social media has changed such that sharing raw might still be done, but to maintain a business? You gotta remember, Funker530 is, we're now beyond the point of it just being a YouTube channel. You know what I mean? It's now a, it's now a business that supports people's families. Uh, mine, Funkers, Josh, Will. Um, so continuing to just share raw footage under risk of that causing problems every day is not feasible. It's not. Not even in the slightest. We like your Ronisms tonight special when people see an American voice. Ah, oh, fuck. Is that what I said? Fuck. <laughs> Nobody said I was smart, man. That's, that's, that's why I'm not a guest on other people's podcasts. Like, uh, do you guys have a bathroom here? Ronnie, this is a remote podcast. You can just go to the bathroom in your own house. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Does Josh uh, pinch your nipples? No, no, he doesn't. Unfortunately. I'm not, I, I would be the worst president ever, dude. You wanna know why? Because I would look at everybody and I'd say, that's your problem, fix your shit. It's not the federal government's problem. Not our problem. Federal government is here to protect you from foreign influence and invasion. So, handle your business. <laughs> I'm just telling you, that's how it'd go. Just, just go handle that. I don't know. I'm not the one. Unsubscribe. I've talked. I've 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 talked to them before. I I just don't know what kind of value that I would bring to that, you know. But I've talked. I've talked to Donut before. I've talked to. Uh, I mean, I know Batty pretty well. Uh, I've met Eli. But half the state caught fire, President Ronnie. We need FEMA. Okay, dope. Yeah, you need some help. We'll help you out. Let's do it. But have you have you used your state funds yet? Or are you just asking me to handle it for you? I have unfriended Ronnie three times already. Wow, we're on a four peat, dude. Pretty awesome. You know, Matt, didn't you get to first base with him? I guess technically. I doubt he remembers it, though. Federal government's only purpose should be for protection against foreign threats. I feel like you just said what I said. Were you here way back when, when I said that? Have you ever fired a flechette right now? Nope. I, my shotgun is actually a piece of shit. It doesn't fire buckshot. I've got PDX-1 Defenders loaded in it right now. It's in uh, Cruiser Ready. Uh, but I don't know if they're going to... I don't know if it's going to go well. I've actually never fired those out of it. I fired them out of another shotgun. Not that one. I'm kind of afraid to. Still QEUE. -E. Doesn't fire, doesn't cycle. It fires. Uh it, it won't cycle because either it's the shitty old buckshot shells that I have laying around the house. I've never I haven't bought like new buckshot since I was handed down hundreds of rounds of buckshot from my granddad. I mean, I've got a ton of ton of ton of buckshot. But it's all old shit. I'm pretty sure it was manufactured in like the eighties. 
Uh, and I don't think it has a great shelf life. That's the shit I've been shooting out of it. Uh, and what happens is I'll fire buckshot and the shell gets stuck in the chamber. Hundreds. Yeah, I just, I don't shoot a lot of shotgun, bro. Sweaty flechettes, 84 millimeter flechette Gustav rounds. I've never gotten a chance to fire a Gustav. Have you been able to get into a raid? Not so far tonight. We've been live for um, about 15 minutes, and I've been in queue for eight of those minutes. Q E U E. You drinking bourbon out of a coffee mug? Yeah, with the remnants of the coffee I had in there earlier. So, whatever. Uh, the Cornet? I'm pretty sure he did at some point. Semi auto, my brother Semi used to do that. No, it's pump. It's pump. The extra so it's either it's either a chamber pressure issue or it's an extractor issue. Because I it won't extract. No matter how much I like get on it. 762 by 39 SKS, fantastic rifle. My father in law has an SKS. It was his first gun. I was with him when he got it. It's got one of the Tapco stocks on it. That thing sucks. That's a piece of shit. It's a piece of shit. Not, I don't know how to sugarcoat that other, other, I'm not going to. Piece of junk. Now, I'm not, that's not to say that all SKSs are a piece of shit. It's just to say that, that one is. What handguard do you have on that AR on your wall? Oh, uh, that's just a, that's my, that's the test gun. I throw that one into the mud and tree, bushes and all kinds of shit. It's a Diamondback AR. Uh, and it's got a key mod rail on it. I, my baby's downstairs. Eight seventy? No, I've got a Stevens three twenty. It's modeled after the Ithaca bottom eject. SKS and AK are about forty years obsolete. Enough said. Uh, the round itself is kind of poop in my mind. I don't know enough about ballistics to really say that, but I just feel like. I feel like there hasn't been a whole lot of thought put into, I guess the 545, you know, closely followed the 556. I'm one of those people that's a fan of like the 277 Fury, the 68551. I like it. I think it's dope. I think it's a great idea. Too many people are like, this is terrible just to have an opinion. Like, okay, explain why it's terrible. Well, it's big. Okay. Well, that means Soldier's going to be weighed down more, but it's lethal at, at more ranges, so they'll have to carry less of it. Well, but it's big. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice. Type goes crap, though. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure it's got something to do with, you know, the way the barrel is, uh, the stock is, it's inlaid into the stock, but. What's your favorite rifle caliber? Mine's 300 Win Mag 308. Just because that's the biggest one I've got. <laughs> I don't have a 30 out 6. I don't have a 300 Win Mag. Uh, I'm pretty basic when it comes to my guns. Uh, 22 long rifle is pretty close. There are so many uses for a good 22. We have a couple. I, I blew one up. I blew the 1522 Sport up. Yeah. That blew up on the range, like, this summer. I think 68 Fury should replace the 762 NATO for the M240. Uh, so there are, there's actually a conversion contract that's out right now for the 240 Bravo to re... I get it's more than rechamber it. You know, there's like conversion. It's, it, it's a contract for a conversion of 240 Bravos to the new 68 standard. 68 6.8 common caliber is what that is what that is. Well, we went for 12 minutes trying to get into a scav. Why 
Why would they do that, Christian? Be dumb as shit. I was I was Christmas shopping. Well, I was window shopping. A uh, I wanted a bolt action in the new six eight, and I was looking at the Sig Cross. And unfortunately, it just has terrible reviews. Like, well, it's mixed. You either love it or you hate it. You know, it, it, it's got some. It, it's got like an AR ex bolt extractor, a three lug extract uh, bolt with you know an AR style extractor on the front of it. Um, but I wanted it real bad. I've talked about wanting a new bolt action for a long time. All right, let's try again. Let's try a different map. Uh, we'll do this. What's the AR in the background, please? Uh, on the bottom there, you've got my just a, a cheap. That's I call that the test rifle. The reason I call it the test rifle is any optics I get sent to test or, you know, new sling or something that I need to, uh, if I need a relatively budget friendly AR that could potentially break during testing, I use that one. Right now it's actually got a sight mark on the top of it from the last time I did a test with the rifle, which is on the other channel. Uh, it's a Diamondback DB-15. My go-to rifle is actually downstairs and that's a Daniel Defense DDM4 SLW. Above it's a vector. There. Are you going lefty for the bolt? So I was thinking about it and actually on Monday night's stream there was my rifle my bolt action I have a Remington 700 SPS was sitting on the floor. Here. Something that I've been doing is trying a new way of running the bolt on a right-handed rifle. Um, there are a couple things that I've read. Uh, and, and it, the first couple did make sense to me. Somebody, some I, I watched one where a guy was like, you should just use your right hand while keeping the bolt in your left, or keeping the rifle in your left shoulder and operate it that way and i was like why the fuck would i do that when i can just you know even even in the prone i can still operate the bolt fine this way it's still actually not as efficient as being able to and when i say efficient it might be faster being able to hold your firing hand still on it but what you really don't want is you don't want any movement you want to be able to follow back up and the most stable way would be to have a left-handed bolt what I did find is if I position properly, I can run my bolt better. I was dry fire practice. I can run my bolt in a better way than I had. What's up, CJ? Yeah, that's the AR in the background. It's a diamond back. Just go with semi-automatic bolt action. What the hell is a semi-automatic bolt action? I didn't, I didn't, what is that? Yeah, I've been, I've got, I've got three gun purchases I need to make over the course of the next, I don't know, year. I need at least another handgun. I need a, I need a hand blaster. Uh, preferably something in an even smaller form factor than my MR920. I need a replacement for my shotgun and a replacement for my bolt action. The bolt action replacement is going to be another 308. I stick with NATO calibers. Unless 277 Fury becomes more widely available. In that instance, I'm going to be an early adopter of that. Um... And I'll just keep the 308. The shotgun needs to get replaced. Like, quick, fast, and in a hurry. And I'm going to get a 1301 for that. What do you think of the DB9? I like it. I just don't have a need for it. I have a wasted semi-automatic PCC purchase already. I have the Vector. It doesn't even make sense to buy a semi-auto Vector. I just wanted one. Yeah, spent 1200 bucks on it. 
When I had four jobs, though, I had ex I had extra money. And AK is what follows after that. Um, when I test armor and such, a uh, common caliber I want to be able to use is, an a is 762 by 39 and 545. So as an eventuality, I want to have uh, a 74 model and, you know, an AKM model. Two-handed sword. I love my judge. The fucking 410 thing. I hope you're running 357 out of it. Can't you run 357 out of a judge? Is it 357? Fuck yeah, dude. Hell yeah, then. Get it. Just don't run 410 out of it from like a home defense perspective. Don't do that. Do you have a 500 Magnum revolver? No. Would you like to send me one? No, I don't. Yeah. Tarkov confused me. Uh, so I thought about AK. Now that I played Tarkov, you think it was actually a Vepper? Because it was just semi-auto. Semi Aren't the internals to a Vepper a little bit different? I don't know. Four ten rifled slugs, gnarly. Yeah, but from a penetrative value, they don't they don't really stack up against something like a three fifty seven. You know, it's best to keep it NATO for available ammunition supply. That guy gets it. Mm -hmm. What about my six point five PRC? It's a dope round, dude. I just don't. If I need that. When it matters most, I better have a lot of money to stock up ahead of time. I mean, you could do each of those things, Christian. It's whether or not you choose to accept the consequences of them. Why not go on an offline raid and fight boss, guard, and raiders? Uh, because I'd rather play online and try and get some shit for my stash. Otherwise, we'll just sit here and chat. No, I'm not overly... Uh, I'm not too concerned. <laughs> we've, we've had entire stream nights where it just turned into us hanging out together. I think you should try DCS again, bro. I mean, I want to, I, but I don't. Like, I wouldn't hate getting back in there, but the everybody. Ronnie, you need to pitch a little bit less to the left uh, and adjust the sensitivity by one degree only if the wind is blowing from east to west in your location of the world. Uh, otherwise, you need to adjust it back the other direction by 0.75 degrees. Uh, then you need to flip the LMFAO switch so that you can fire the AGL missile, uh, but only after you flip the ABC switch. The what? How do I turn my jet on? When does Yuri come on again? It's up to him, man. I'll have him back anytime once. He can come back Friday. 12 minutes on the current scav. I'm at 8 for this scav. <laughs> Ronnie, you're, you're turning too sharply. You need to turn more sharply, Ronnie. You just told me I'm too, doing it too much. Yeah, that's how I feel, man. And for the first little while, poor Funker. Like, cause it, when I dive into something, I typically dive right in and I try and learn as much as I can myself. Well, I failed myself and I went straight to Funker. I was like, all right, bro, teach me what I'm doing. And God love that dude, man. He, he jumped right in with me. He was like, all right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to put you in the gun server. We're going to, we're going to be fighting together. We're going to, you're going to be my wingman. And you know, here I am with my, and I was like, oh, when you pull the trigger, it shoots. <laughs> that poor. 
That poor dude, man. But it's too much. It's too much. Like my my focus that I have right now is is on all the other shit that I'm working on rather than learning a skill. DCS is a skill. Every weapons, every every airframe that you pick in DCS is a skill. It's a skill. And you got to dedicate time and energy against it. I have enough time in Tarkov that I can typically pick the game back up and play it. I'm not going to I'm not saying I'm good at it. You know, I, I I competed in PUBG. I could I could I could fire up PUBG and we'd be fine. Right? I could play it. I'm not saying I'm good at it. DCS, I need to learn. And I just don't I I don't have the time for it. He put you in the deep end? Yeah, he did. You guys remember when we were just flying around together? He was like, let's go fight. Let's go fight like 10 dudes at once. Like, well, that's not the first time you've asked for that, but. He and I are actually starting to get concerned about Shot Show. I'm going to let you guys know that. Um, The U.S. still does. Mm. Anyway. Traveling from abroad into the U.S. is a challenge. What do you do for a living? Uh, I actually, two months ago, left my job to create content for a living. Yeah. So for the last two years, I've been working four jobs. I, you know, I just couldn't do it anymore. And I wasn't quitting any of this. That just wasn't happening. This stream's raised $46,000 for charity. The other one did a hundred and some thousand dollars of charity this year. I just not doing it. Mm -mm. The impact that we have when, we're, when we hang out together is much bigger. Hello from England. What's up, Jim Jam? We're drinking bourbon and uh, trying to get into a scav right here, bro. See? Yeah, for, uh, for the last... Since 2009, I've been in cybersecurity. I'm a CISSP CEH. Uh, I'm, I had made it all the way to being a por portfolio manager, program and portfolio manager. Um, my portfolio was worth somewhere in, uh, to the tune of $87 million at one point. Um, I mean, I had achieved, uh, I, I, I still don't have my degree, mind you. I had achieved great things. I just didn't want to do it for a living. You know how they say, like, if you wake up and you hate what you do, then you're in the worst kind of hell? I hated my job. Hated it. Especially after I started doing this. I've played about 130 merges with Funker. You train me up good. Get in my no-no slapped over and over. It does take, take some... Nah, I don't... Mm -mm. Scav's dripping. Yeah, he's real drippy, ain't he? I can't wait to shoot somebody if it'll ever let me into the damn game. Yeah, and I'm not, I'm not like gloating over what my job was because I quit. <laughs> I quit it. That's because I have, I, did, I just didn't chase any dreams, you know? I did, not until now. Now I am. I learned my lesson. And my, my, my family was like, you're going to quit your job to do what? Put her down. Can't log into my account. I don't know. Um, but look. Oh, Brent wants to play. If we ever get into the damn game, I'll play with Brent. Have you ever taken drugs? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which ones? We don't count? Then no. Well, I've taken like, uh, and I mean, I have, I don't care. I, I've got waivers for all of this whoever my resident FBI agent is um, I've got waivers for all this shit oh I'm getting into a raid look at that 
Uh, but yeah, we, um, some ecstasy. Bat rails of white lightning. <laughs> no, no. I grew up around it though. You know. In here right now, do you think? Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah, I'm all about it. Military gives you all kinds of drugs. Now we didn't we didn't talk about that. Alright. I've been hopped up on more ibuprofen than should be safe for the human for a human being. I mean I don't feel shit from it, but you, know, you, you start taking four eight hundred milligram ibuprofen. So you, something's definitely getting changed in your body. It's all starting to make sense. Yeah. Yeah? Good. That's good, right? Is that a good thing? Mine looks like a Molly kind of guy now. You know? It's been a long time. Not since, uh, like high school. Been a long time. I mean, I've been in the military since I graduated high school. That ranger candy. It's just so dumb that that's what they give you. I got a headache. Here's an 800 milligram ibuprofen. What am I gonna do with that? Hello, friends. Hello? My God, sit there and glorify war and then get on a video game. Uh... 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 It's a pretty terrible take. Discussing war and glorifying it are two different things. Like the Ultimo Loser. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Here's Johnny! <laughs> Welcome in, dork. What's up, man? How you doing? It's good to see ya. What you doing, buddy? Oh, I'm excited. Johnny, don't stop talking. Come on. Come with it. Send it. Let's go. Mods, lay off. Until such time. As I say. What's up, running bear? Lonely and just after some t attention. Be kind to Johnny Pork. <laughs> you know what came to mind when you said that? You guys remember the, like the early viral video of the dude cr crying to leave Brittany alone? That's what that's what that reminded me of. 
Running Bear, I wanted to say, uh, send you a fuck, bro. Ow, what the fuck is going on here? Stop shooting. What, what just happened? Crying Brandy for Johnny. <laughs> That's you? I did, Chicken Genius. Because obviously Superman and Batman are against it, duh. What just shot me, dude? Yeah, we can, Brent. I, I finally got into this scab. I'll be jumping in there in, in a second. Wait up for me, babe. Go, Johnny, go! Go! Johnny, go, go, go! Johnny, me. Johnny, thanks for the sub, dude. What's up, man? Oh, well, of course you subbed. You had to sub. Come on, Johnny. Don't leave me all alone here talking to myself, bro. I need you right now. I'm hurt. Why is there so much workout equipment at this base? There's workout equipment everywhere, every base, dude. I heard a, I heard during one of his low points, Johnny became a sub of other sorts too. That's a high point, in my opinion. How's the new update so far? Eh. Streets is tough. Ambush central, dude. How do you comment in the first place? Ah, subs are delayed. Heat and pipe. Checkpoint fence. We're going to take checkpoint fence. I just feel like you'd consolidate to one area. Eh, not necessarily. You know, each one of these... Buildings would theoretically be run by a different team, you know, and each one of those teams needs to have their own special place to go to work out because they don't like the team from the next building over. Ooh, party favors. Hey, Ronnie, bought an M72 law today. How's your day going? Pretty good. Yeah, better now that I've... Now that you've figured out how to buy a law. Man, that's awesome. Dope. Is Josh afraid of anything? Maybe his former CSM? Uh, melted crayons? I don't know. Um, you know, wasted food? Um, dickheads on Instagram not understanding things, I guess. Damn, Johnny. Yeah, Johnny left, dude. <clears throat> Pussy. Josh is starting to sound a whole lot like my wife. Wait a second. When they made crayons edible, that was a game changer. They were always edible. How much of a punk ass did you want to be? I did stick around with the bathtub scene. Yeah, I guess not. Whatever. Okay. We're going to jump in with Brent. I hate how I can examine the outside of that package. But then, like, the inside is, like, a mystery. Like, I just ripped open this box that says clearly on the front of it, 545 you know, by 39 BS, and then I open it, and he's like, what's this? 
Come on, man. Stupid idiot. Uh, can't put that on anything. I'll take the sling bag too. We're gonna we're gonna do some scav PM, PMC runs here. Um, I can't be certain that Josh has ever actually eaten a crayon, but he has forced me to eat a crayon before. When once upon a time when we started doing edited Funker videos, Josh used to write scripts for that, or at least like narratives for me to like go through while I was still getting my feet wet. And in one of them, he put in there he was like, it was for the Marine Corps birthday, 2021. Uh, he was he said basically in the script, a toaster crayon or you're a bitch. And I said okay, and I ate a crayon. Um, and I asked him sometime after, have you ever eaten a crayon? He's like no. No, but watching you eat one was funny. Oh, there's Johnny. Hey, Johnny. Where Brent? There he is. Hello. Hey, Johnny. Hello, wow, you look stupid. Yeah. Why'd you choose that top, Johnny? Feels way off, man. I don't know. Uh, are you kidded at all? Or are you in raid or like? No, I'm chill. Just waiting. Oh, Just okay. identifying stuff from the vendors right now. Yeah. What do you want? What are you trying to do? Where you want to go? Uh, I need to. I died earlier trying to get the uh. Jaeger's quest item. Have you done that yet? I have not done that. You want to do that real quick? Yes. Or what kind of gun are you bringing? Uh, I'm bringing an MDR. With a pack of armor. <laughs> I'm going to bring... Do I bring my M700? That's really all I have. Uh, I mean, I can bring you... Yeah. Oh, let's bring the MDR. It's fun. Give him hell. Big boss. As they say, praise how praise down. What do you vape, by the way? What's in it? Just nicotine stuff in my robot robot penis. Mm -hmm. Uh, I need food and water. Oh, good point. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, Thank don't, you. don't fuck that up. Hmm, I'm not gonna wear a helmet because if I get headshot, I'm dying anyway. So. Uh huh. Yeah. Just Avoid that. Yeah, you're gonna die anyway. They're gonna say pew pew, and I'm gonna say, <laughs> uh, I'll take this. an IFAC. What's this? Oh, an SKS. Perfect. Somebody come and look at this. I found a, uh, no, I can't think what it's called. Oh, a Tetris. Nice. I did a factory run. Just trying to find I will a couple shotguns. never not call it that now. Yeah, it's that's what it is, dude. <laughs> oh man, dude, don't zoom that optic in, bro. Don't don't zoom the optic in. It'll get stuck there. Okay, I don't it, remember how to zoom in. So. It's a bug. Okay. No feds in the chat now? All done recruiting? Yeah. Yeah, we met our quota for the for the week. Also, if you could chat with your f your friends at the KGB and let them know to reach across to their counterparts in the CIA and let them know I haven't gotten my paycheck yet. 20 bucks is 20 bucks, dude. Just have them reach across or something because, you know, that daddy's got an AK to buy. All right, boss. What's up, Hexrax? It will be done, my lord. <laughs> and you just set expectations for forever now. Big guy gets a share. Yeah, like 10% or something, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. 20 bucks is 20 bucks, dude. Don't care. Let's do it. Hey, bro. I don't know what to tell you. 
Tim, why'd you delete that? Nothing wrong with that. Tim's got an itchy uh, trigger finger tonight. You see, I shut Tim down on Johnny, and now he's real mad. So he's got to take it out on you guys. I'm sorry, I created the monster. The whole big guy gets to share thing makes me laugh about like, I, I talk almost exclusively about, you know, weapons, right? What's 10% of a high Mars? It's like a wheel, one rocket. Maybe if you like cut it at the back. I don't know how that would work. Yeah, Twitter's been acting weird. See, yeah, <laughs> just just shows up on the White House lawn. It's ten percent, big guy. <laughs> I'm not saying there's some shady shit happening. I'm just saying. go back to my bourbon take another snort okay the, the new US military branch is Earth Force so I actually uh, I, I have somebody that I admire very much that was explaining uh, that the Space Force is actually, actually has an excellent job and function I have no idea what that is but I'm going to be honest with you guys. If the Space Force was coming out tomorrow with space shuttle door gunner positions, I'm filling that packet out tonight. That's happening. Apparently things are tight, Ryan. We only got a partial payment from the FSB. Here's what they sent. Man, I'm tired of this shit. One of these, one of these government agencies, I don't care if it's Russia or American needs to start paying me all this money I'm owed. Thank you for the $5 in your space. Thanks, buddy. I just want to be ODST higher up. I'm signing up today if that's happening tomorrow. They don't want any prior service. Ryan, does Funker 530 have a dedicated server for Armor 3 and Steam? No. No, we don't. Thanks, New Space. Uh, can you only donate through PayPal? Presently, yes. Um, and we're not currently driving for another Fit PC, not until January 1st. Just a reminder. Each, each month that we do a PC, anything that comes into the stream after that PC in the month, comes back to the stream, right? This is, that's the business side of, of running a stream. But at the beginning of the month, we start up for another one. If it takes us two months to get there, we'll get there. That makes sense. What's up, Big Ryan? Good to see you. Where's Jeffrey? Or what, what was his fucking name? Um, Jimmy? Jackson? Oh, Johnny. Yeah, whatever. Where you at? Talk to me, dude. Made an offer on the house today. Fingers crossed. Nice. Congrats, Charming Milk. Good to see you. He gone? Oh, sissy. He'll be back. He had to check in for the next narrative to use. Make sure they were on the right one so that they're all synchronized. Like, together. What's up, Moss? I have a cold. Apparently, putting a blanket over my shoulders constitutes me having the man cold. <laughs> I hate the man cold. I don't, I don't hate the man cold. I hate the man cold as a construct built by women. Just because when I get sick, it's really severe, doesn't mean you need to make fun of it.
We had a soldier at my base snorting cocaine, driving a Moag Eagle 4 into our obstacle course, destroying the obstacle course, which meant we couldn't use it. So sad, right? Um, I wouldn't call that sad. That's kind of fucking wild. That's one of those stories that you get to keep forever. I hate when people say that to you, by the way. Oh, say what specifically? Uh, Hexrax, thanks to you and the CIA for the 20 bucks, dude. Appreciate that very much, man. Yeah, just let me know. Um, you know. We haven't connected lately. And by lately, I mean ever. So if there's anything specific based on the 20 bucks that you'd like me to talk about, let me know. What's up, Thomas? You should try DCS uh, VR. The game changer. Do you have VR? Yeah, so... Um, I've thought about that before. The problem with doing VR on stream is not being able to read the chat, right? So it'd be dope and I'd be able to like, I have a quest too, so I'd be able to do it, but I wouldn't be able to follow the chat, man. I didn't go through the Q course, Bob. I'm not special forces. When is Josh gonna play with you again? He. He's afraid that if he like opens a game, he's going to blow up his PC. One of the things that we're waiting for right now is uh, we need to upgrade his PC. And then once, and when I say upgrade, just bring it to current standards. It's, it's pretty dated. Um, once that happens, then it's, then it's all hands on deck for the, for the podcast. The way to put chat up in VR. I'm assuming there's probably some like obscure plugin I could use. You know? Yeah, I, I'm not Special Forces, bro. My only experience with Special Forces was getting attached to them for um, he is special two years. Though. Yes, correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in a good way the best way you just don't want to learn 6,000 DCS inputs God, don't put me on blast like that dude when your hair starts falling out do you give up and shave it off it's coming off when I start losing my hair it's coming off entirely yeah, I think that's where I am too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, no, no. We're not, we're not doing the comb over shit with the thing with the U-shaped head stuff. No, absolutely not. Though I do have a large head, and it's oddly shaped. It's probably gonna be weird looking. Shave your head, grow goatee. Ugh. Or do the chin strap thing. <laughs> Sicko wears nice shirts. Yes, he does. Timo says hi. Hello. Yeah, bald head with a beard. Great look. Love it. Get hair extensions so you look Rasta. Like fucking dreads or something. <laughs> yeah, I could see you with dreads. You can see me with dreads. Absolutely not. <laughs> okay. Absolutely not. <laughs> now I'm gonna do it. 
Would I like to see you with them? Yes. Would it look weird? I can't hey, see how man. it not. And I'm not doing it's that again. Ronnie, man. <laughs> <laughs> The chin strap screams, I sell cocaine and cocaine accessories. <laughs> um, I'm just going to beat feet to the Jaeger stash, bro. See what happens. Checking the crates real quick. I'm Satellite intelligence is one of those three-letter agencies, not military. Yes, more specifically, the NRO. The NRO runs the satellites. The NGA analyzes the intelligence that comes from the satellites. You're going towards med right now, yeah? Yeah. You gonna check it at all or no? Yep, yep, yep. Ducky. Gonna put myself way out there and get shot. I didn't bring enough food. Oh, I found two sugars though. What's up, bro? Walking up on me? Yeah, yeah. Fuck on me? From okay. the same side you entered. Oh, there's so much good shit in here, bro. Coming through the field right now? What? Front field? Yeah, opposite of where we spawned. Got it. You get him? No, this scope is terrible. I fucking told you. <laughs> I didn't get him still. He's dead. Good shit. I'm gonna just take the scope off, honestly. Uh, that's gonna be worse. Uh, just, just giving you a heads up, daddy. It zooms in so far. <laughs> I told you. I thought you said only if I zoomed it in, not just like it's gonna be that way no matter what. You're running around internal right now? Yeah, yeah I'm right beside okay, you. Right. Oh, there's a guy coming in the back. He's got an attitude problem. I he's, hear a bunch of them. He's also. fucking correcting. Oh, don't suka me. Suka you. I hear you. Hello, friend. Got him. All right, these guys have guns for you. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah. Like, this guy's got kind of a good one for you to have. Oh. Uh, he's got a Vepper. I just don't know if his ammo is good though. What's that? Hot rod. I wanna go get this tag off this dude out here. Hope I don't die. Where you at? Crouched inside. This is me. I don't know what that means. Oh, I thought you were going to come through there, but you're oh, on the friend? other side. Yeah, oh. I'm very sneaky. Okay, so the dead guys are over here. Uh, there's a guy over here with a vepper. It's this fella, huh? A Oh. It's all that. Don't know Now's a good from. time to use that big daddy rifle that you've got. Because that, that dude has something big, too. I'm back at the back with a tent. Or in a tent? Not with, not with a tent. He's got a bolt action of some kind. It sounds like. Problem is where? With visibility on that spot, I'm not sure. I would have to go back to that spot and eyeball it. And I just took a bunch of drugs so I can't see anything. Oh, I just saw him. Where is he? 
out on the rock. Yeah, that makes sense. Then he fucking moved back. Though. God, if I had a real scope. Well, I can try to zigzag no, run at I, him. I can't, I can't acquire well enough to let you do that. Okay. I, I mean, he would have been dead to rights, but by the time I could get to him, he was already moving. He went right to left from the big rock. Got it. The tall rock? Yeah. Okay. I'm assuming his optic situation is in the, generally speaking, the same state of yours. The play for us right now is going to be to go out the way we came, wrap down, and then come back up and, and play him closer now that you well, have a gun. thanks a lot. Okay. Just trying to make sure I don't see him one more time somewhere before we... Johnny's mommy thanks for the five. Uh, I apologize for my son's behavior. He asked for peas and I made him broccoli. He did finish his applesauce packet like a good boy, though. That's good. You know, you, you every once in a while, you got to let your kid make some mistakes. That's fine. Boys going to be boys. All right. You went back out? Not yet. I'm standing by where we came in. All right. Maybe that way. Let me make the run first. That way you can watch the right side. Thanks for the five, Johnny's mommy. So if this guy's smart, he kind of stayed in his current position rather than get close. Because he had advantage at distance. And I'm hoping he thinks that. And didn't see us rotate out. We gotta go to him to get to the Jaeger stash. Right. right here above me, close. Close, two. Oh, God, left. I'm dead. There's two. Back out. Burn. One's got a Mosin. Nosta, Ronnie? Is that how you say that? Nasta? Nosta? Oh, that guns. I don't have any ammo for the SKS. Double tapped you? Uh, that was two shots that you heard. Back to back. Um, the likelihood that he had a, that he had an SVD this early is pretty pretty low. I'm thinking that the one up top shot at the same time the one to the left. I heard both shots that you're talking about though. We'll get him next time. Oh, maybe we'll see. We'll see what happens. There's like three teams here. Well, let them fight each other. We needed to move much earlier than we did. We would have beaten them to that spot. Mikey, thanks for the 33. On behalf, on behalf of the Office of Homeworld Security. <laughs> I just don't, I don't understand the argument behind the like CIA thing, you know? I, I also just don't fully understand how one can come to the conclusion that being generally supportive of Ukraine's success 
is somehow like against traditional American values. Like, I just don't, I don't get it. Like, gotta repair my stomach or I'll fucking bleed out. Do your thing, bro. Do your thing. I'm just getting kitted up and, you know, I'll probably, uh, queue up for a scab, but I'll never get into it. So, you know, good stuff. Well, thanks a lot. Where can I put this on? Where's this going? Put it on my Sega. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's awesome. I, yeah, I, I just, I don't understand. You know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing anything other than literally just being generally supportive of a country's success in expelling Russia. I also can't fully understand, like for the life of me, uh, the whataboutism stuff. As though, like, I'm responsible for our invasion of Iraq. Anything that happened in Yemen. And as though I don't, like, say things to hold, to do what I can to hold people accountable. Like, who am I? <laughs> <laughs> Just get out of there, boss. Well, listen, <laughs> we're out of here, baby. <laughs> Unless you want to just swing wieners with him the whole time, you know? Oh, that's not, I'm shooting at him. I killed one. All right, nice work. The second one. The problem there, this scope's so good that... The Funker stream was good tonight. The I had a good buddy discussion. Came, they came in like a three-man, like, slang and... What's your setup look like? Yeah, sure, man. It's okay. My white guy dance. Likey? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. What about them feet? Don't worry about the claymore. What about the feet? Uh, Johnny's dad. Thanks for the five bucks, man. We're going to hang some drywall, drink some Mickey lights tomorrow. Man, I'm up a little. <laughs> That's funny. What about the price of tea and <laughs> What? talking about we're not even talking about that but so here's the thing when somebody says like oh never mind afghanistan if i were to say something like we're not talking about that right now somebody would say oh funker refuses to talk about afghanistan like motherfucker no we don't have you seen the articles we've written about that yeah, yeah. you have two computers to run the game no two computers to run the stream one computer to run the game a second computer to run the stream Yeah, I have a walkthrough of the stream room that I did for, for members. Everybody, you know, you it'll show you what I use for everything. And Nice man cave you got there? Yeah, we weren't always in here. You know, I, I actually moved up here at the beginning of the year. Uh, the last couple of years I've been downstairs in our basement. Just kidding, fucker. No, I know. I, I was agreeing with you. You know what I mean? Like, that's, like, funny. Any more Make Him Funker episodes coming? Yes. Yes. Uh, I've been... I've been off target with those um, because of the last month finishing the TV show. Johnny's back! Where is he? Huh? You need to uh, get a bigger gaming screen, Ron. It got me a 58-inch. So much better in my honest opinion. Uh, I disagree with you. Right. The problem with the 58 inch is you got to do this. Uh, 20, I actually need to downsize. So when I come, when I competed, I was playing on a uh, 24 inch. Never mind the Amer the Mexican American war. <laughs> You're nailing it, dude. Great job. Somebody actually. What about ism to me on like one of you guys, like one of the folks that's like following here on um, the Belarusian floor dance routine that we I, I tweeted. 
Like, I tweeted a... It's a hilarious video, guy. Like, I don't know what else to tell you. It's funny. A video of Belarusian special forces doing, like, a floor dance flippy routine. And somebody made, like, this right side comment. They're like, yeah, well, when our military is doing a dance routine routine for Biden. It's like, what? What does this have to do with our military? Like, you got, you don't even know Wait, that I you're kill that guy. Wait, doing what about him anymore. Somebody like, somebody must have stolen him. No. Are you dead? I died. Oh, okay. If we're just gonna go for the Jaeger thing, I might just run a pistol, honestly, and just fuck on Sprint there. Oh, you wanna just ball out? I'm thinking, I mean, you know what I mean? Like, <sighs> I like it. I like it. Gonna go. Like, no risk, right? So we can just push whatever we want. Gonna like, go with the hand blaster? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna bring a backpack still, just in case we, we spawn get, that's where we did last time. For those looty loots, you know? Right. Because if we spawn where we did last time, we can still get some good. Now, here's the question Do I want the Glock hand blaster? I don't have any mags for the Glock. Never mind. That was a stupid question. I don't have a Glock. How'd you get a Glock? I found it in a stash. Yes, sir. I do have grenades though. So I've got a Glock and some, or no, I've got a, I've got an M9 and a bunch of grenades. Yeah, I'm bringing some, I'm bringing, I'm bringing a couple of grenades. Where's Johnny? Oh, Johnny's back. Uh, yes, I'd like to see him almost die again. Tomorrow, the Russian will be slightly more accurate. Trust me. Never trust Fuck, me. I it hate you, and I don't me. even know you, boss. Like, I, I... I can't imagine you being a real person, though. Like, do you, do you think he's a real person? The minute somebody says trust me, I don't trust them. I'm an American. I live in Michigan. What's the Michigan state flower? All right, I'm putting my Santa beard on for this too. Friendly. You liar. You don't know the Michigan state flower. Trust me. Ronnie is the Michigan state flower. Michigan Oblast. <laughs> oh, man. Don't ever trust anyone that says, trust me. Yeah, it's, I find it impossible. And somebody says, trust me, bro. I'm telling you. It says you're already in a group. Did you accept a group yeah. invite from somebody else? <laughs> no, no. I, it glitched, I think. I backed out and came back up. Absolutely not, stranger danger. <laughs> Just killed two on customs, but the third got me Jekyll. Well, you absolute legend. What a gangster. It's weed. <laughs> that's, a, that's the Michigan State flower. <laughs> What's up, bees? What's up, man? Johnny, give me your honest opinion. What? Where did the? Where where did the bad man touch you? It, it Help me understand your position, bro. I'll have that conversation with you right now. Let's do it. Come on. Let's go. Floor's yours, boss. We're ready. I'll tell you. Dope. Let's do it. We're waiting. This is exhausting.
And I'm bored with it. <laughs> I'll touch you, Huckleberry. Subscribe to the Michigan O Black. <laughs> I, I just, I don't understand how I can be more objective. Like, quite honestly, criticism when it's constructive is amazing. It is. Help me be more objective. Let's go. Let's have the conversation. I'll bring your ass in here. Let's do it. Join the Discord, boss. Come on. I watched a video of Ukraine soldiers operating a small, cheap Walmart drone drop grenades on sleeping Russians in trenches. They were active combatants until such time that they raised a white flag. Next. I don't know if you've seen the video of the Ukrainian getting his balls chopped off. That one might factor into your decision-making process, but it, maybe not. I don't know. That's up to you. Next. Brian, I'm engaging with our resident FSB agent. How prolific are AK-12s in Ukraine, you think? Uh, I haven't seen a lot of them. I, I, I think I've seen a couple photos, maybe? You know, so many, all, this is why I stopped, like, pursuing being a gaming streamer, is, is, for the longest time, I had this idea that I could just, I could just game and bury my head in the sand. You know what I mean? And just separate from everything. And, and it, it really hit me one day when I saw another veteran streamer post something that was entirely out of touch with an active conflict that was going on. And I was like, fuck. I'm listening. Well, I just shared it with you. Right. Okay. So you, you you raise Ukrainians dropping bombs on sleeping Russians. I raise you. I see. I see your call, and I raise you. Russians chopping balls. This is like a huge raid. This is like imagine this all in almost chopping balls off of Ukrainians. Next. Let's go. And don't think that you're like hijacking the stream. We we have these kinds of streams all the fucking time, dude. You now have to show clear. <laughs> I'm not reading the rest of that. You guys want nipple shots? Go over, go over to Instagram. It's a thirst trap. New inf That's new information to you. I raise you again. The Ukrainians shooting the Russians in the leg. I raise you once more, Wagner hitting one of their own in the head with a sledgehammer. Right. You need to take context of everything around the little bit you've seen into, into consideration. x Rex, thanks for the $2. War does not stop when you're asleep. And in fact, we just talked about that. I made it very clear when I said that too. I was like, look, until they, until they say, I surrender. They are active combatants. Uh, war sucks, dude. Why do you think Funker's here? Like, that's what? I don't know, man. I don't know. Regurgitate your closest media source if you want this one. Same as when a mortar lands in a fob, kills sleeping soldiers. I had friends that were just driving around Bagram Airport that took a mortar and they died. Just, they're just, they're just drive. They weren't like preparing for something. Like they, I, they were 
they didn't even have combat arms MLSs. They just died driving around. Like, dude, they... No, they were active combatants in a combat zone. Why do you support it? Support what? Ukraine's success? Because Russia invaded Ukraine. Ukraine didn't invade Russia. If Russia invaded Zimbabwe, like, it doesn't matter where Russia invade. If Russia were to in have invaded Georgia, had I been paying attention to the global situation at the time, I probably would feel the same. 2008, South Ossetia, Abkhazia. Let's go, dude. Like, if you're, if you're going to take shots, land them, man. pretty sure I'm in an argument right now with a somebody in a troll farm. That's okay. There might be some impressionable youngster watching. Johnny's back. Yes. Yeah, we're having a good time. We do appreciate you sticking around, Johnny. No joke. Yeah, to, an ex to a certain extent. I appreciate everybody's perspective, dude. Not everybody's going to agree with me. Acknowledging that Russia is wrong for invading Ukraine at a bare minimum. That's as binary as it gets. That's a zero or a one. You either get that or you don't. Some might believe that less aid should be provided to, to, to Ukraine to defend themselves so that more aid could be provided to, to America. I think we have enough to do both. What that balance looks like, I don't know because I don't have the right, I don't have all the answers. Some people might disagree with that and say, hey, you know, I'm all about Ukraine kicking Russia's ass out, but I think we should be spending less. Well, take, take some context into play. We spent $2.313 billion on Afghanistan. Thus far, weapons alone, we've spent $22 billion. Now, if you were to average out the amount of spending that we put into Afghanistan over 20 years, that would be approximately $100 billion a year. That's assuming that every year we spent the exact same, which is not the case. There were ebbs and flows in spending. So we are starting to get close to that $100 billion when you factor in humanitarian aid, when you factor in food, when you factor in other government spending, but not when it comes to military aid. We're nowhere close to that. $2.313 billion we spent 20 years in Afghanistan. Think about that. And we've provided $22 billion worth of arms over the last year for a country, for Ukraine. Ukraine's a big country. Russia's pretty fucking big. Are you active army? No, I'm army reserve. I've got about five years worth of active duty time with various deployments. Other countries are sending money, right? So think about that. Think about that from a GDP perspective, right? The United the United States is the only remaining superpower for a fucking reason. I recognize that there are, there are situations here in America we need to handle. I've talked about them before. You know, again, you don't know anything about me. What I can tell you is, we as the United States are able to do both. I've talked about how nasty the southern border is. There are cartels shooting at each other in Nuevo Laredo. That's You could spit and hit Nuevo Laredo from Laredo, Texas. There are cartels ambushing the Mexican army in Nuevo Laredo. It needs, it needs to be handled. It does. Anyway, back to the video game. Wait, aren't we here? We're here. Yeah. What? No, we're not. Are we not? No. Okay. Are you sure? We All got right. a long way to go. Short time to get there. I'm lost though. <sighs> yeah, 
Yeah, long story short, war sucks, dude. And there's a lot of gray areas. There are. One thing is not a gray area. Russia needs to go the fuck home. They do. There's that. That's not a gray area. They need to go the fuck home. So generally speaking, yes, I'm in support of Ukraine. Ukraine's military success against Russia. I'm also... I fly one flag out front. We got an American flag flying real high. Real high. And it's lit. It's beautiful. It waves in the night. Flapping. Brings a tear. I'm also in support of furthering American agendas abroad. And defeating Russia's prowess is absolutely... I don't give a shit who you are. They are one of like three competing powers. What about it? All the weeby dudes that are out there that are like, you know, I'm a patriot, but we shouldn't be, you know, fending off adversaries before they get close to us abroad. It's like soft range shit. It's stupid. Stop. I'm gonna get myself in trouble, dude. Why do I have this ammo? How do you want to do this? Uh, I don't know. This is this is pretty shady. Uh, this we got about the this is about the worst spawn. We yeah, got. the worst you could imagine. Uh, the best is just gonna be to send it, boss. I don't. You know, we can make it up. We can make it up towards checkpoint and kind of just wait around. I lost you, but I'm heading that direction. Yeah, just head towards checkpoint. We'll run into each other again. I see you. You're I right saw you. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, as much as I'd like to just like bury my head in the sand and play video games, there's nothing wrong with that. Right? And because that's a career. It is. It's a valid one. People make livings out of it. I just can't. I wanted to so bad. And, and I originally designed the stream around it. I just can't do that. There's there's just too many people that only see one perspective. And they attack people rather than ideas. And that fucking kills me, dude. There's a lot of banging going on There's right where we where medical. we need to go, boss. Uh, it sounds like they're right at medical. Any American PMC or yeah, Amnesty. Remnants of uh, Blackwater, isn't it? Aren't they? I mean, you're not going to have the same kinds of PMC organizations in America that you do in like a Russia, where there's really blurry lines between. Not anymore. You know, you did have those Iraq, Afghanistan. Um. And what's the name of that website? We've actually examined it before. Global something dot org. There's a website that's out there that factors that into the capabilities from a military perspective of every country. Um, you'll find that the United States is factors from a pri Oh, I'm taking shots. Yeah, I'll say that was. I'm gonna rotate way that was back. Adults or. I'm gonna rotate yeah, way back and see if I can make it across this field and up into the ridge, the ridge line. That seemed far away, like I didn't hear the shot. Could just be suppressed. Yeah, but this early, you know, suppressors aren't gonna be too common right now. <sighs> Can't believe you would doubt the sweaty boys.
I mean, I'm sure there's dudes that have, you know, 30, 36 hours worth of game time already, and the game wiped at, like, 1 a.m. this morning, so... Like, they haven't stopped playing. Yeah. Case of Red Bull, Pekka anchovies, and some beef jerky. Well, hell, even the level 6 we caught at lunchtime was pretty good. Like, that's all, that's pretty, like... You're zooming. Oh, I hear... Okay. He's, like, right over there. Yeah. If we're hearing that suppressor, he's, like, right over there. He's banging at something above us here. It definitely sounded like he was on that next ridge. I mean, we can go around, too. Mm -hmm. I want to walk from here out. Probably Kimber. Yeah, they were probably bullshitting. I'd say the same shit. I mean, what would you say? Always good cats. Kind of going too far down into the rabbit hole tonight, I think. Urban freed up my lips a little bit. Seeing if I can get eyes on that dude at all. Yeah. Trying not to jump though, too. Right. Somebody shot at him, too, so I mean... Mm -hmm. yeah, they were banging at each other. What I was hoping to find is one of them looting the other one, you know? Right. Shoot him in the back of the head. Yeah, please do hit the like button. Thanks. now. You want to know one of the reasons that I am, am absolutely certain that most people's stance on the war in Ukraine is political rhetoric? Because in a lot of in a lot of instances, one of the is that first at us or? no, it's not at us. One of the first things people say to me is, "You must support Biden." What in the world ever made you believe that? Think about that's that. A, that suppressor was definitely close. It's not a suppressor. It's not a suppressor. Oh really? That's the, what the shot sounds like. Yeah, that's that's MP5. That's MP5, hundred percent. I'm wondering if Sniper Scav is dead. We might be able to yoink his gun. It's also kind of an advantageous position relative to our current. I'm going up. We bang it. I hit him in the head, but my gun didn't pierce his helmet. I just killed him. <laughs> my, I hit him in the head, but my gun didn't pierce his helmet. I'm gonna go see if uh, the sniper scans yeah, up. Yeah. Uh, I'm stuck. I can't believe I didn't kill him. Literally, he was standing still, watching the corner, waiting for somebody. 
I really want to get up to the top here. I just have so no I'm assuming, Yeah, I'm assuming you heard us. Yeah. But I couldn't pierce his helmet, I guess. I got a pony. I want to check the sniper scout. Heard it. Still. Sniper scout's uh, dead. His gun's nice. still on him though. Oh, it's a good fucking gun too. Yes, what daddy. Is it? It's an SV98, but it's got an optic on it. Ooh. Give me that fillet of fish, dude. Muff to hit a banger. I'm gonna go down and check the other guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got oh, a. Got a guy here. I'm I'm not all the way down, but he is all I the see way down. You. He's looking at me. I see you. Where is he? I don't see him. Hello, me. No eyes yet. Stand by. Directly below you or towards me? Uh, probably towards you. I'm throwing a nade on him. To scav. Here. percent scab I heard him calm he's calming I can't account for anybody outside of him though all right I'm just trying to figure out if I hit him with the nade or not I have no eyes on you just so you know when you go too far down there yeah I'm all the way down I'm going to check the body right now okay My, why does looking through my optic look like shit? It looks like one of the kaleidoscopes, dude. I think he had an AVS rig. This guy? Yeah. Nah, he has a... Packer. You wouldn't lie to me, would you? I mean, you'll be able to see me, so no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bringing you this tag up. Yeah, the razor looks just as bad. Here's somebody down here, or is that you above me? It's me above you, bro. That's so weird. It sounds like it's in front of me. Sound sucks, my man. Like what the? Put it back. Fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it. Fix it, fix it, fix it. <laughs> All right, where are we going? Oh, uh, we need to rotate down a little bit. I don't want to go down along the spine. You get his tag, or is it still on his body? I got it. I was gonna bring it to you. Uh, Give to daddy. It's oh. right under you. Oh. Shiny silver. Oh, oh, there it is. Yes, yes. Thank you. I don't know what the Concord 44, 34 key is, but I'm taking the dog tag over that. All right, we got enough penetrating power to hit a one-two punch here, but we're not gonna body in a single shot with either of our guns. You got ammo? Yeah. Right. Uh, you're getting echoes and audio? Is anybody else getting that?
Do you believe in magic? In a clean headshot? I need some nerd to come and get got. Oh, it's magic. This could, this could be your time I'm to shoot. shooting that guy. Yeah, it looks like a fucking kaleidoscope through this thing, man. Heard it, but I don't see it. There's a dead guy right here. He's got armor on. I have level three on. Do 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 do. Da 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 da. Another dead guy over there. Do 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 do. Oh, it's magic. Hey guys, I want to say I'm sorry. Like, I'm I'm sorry if we went a little bit too far down the rabbit hole there. You know, I'm just getting a little exhausted with all the. Where's the other one? Really stupid takes on stuff. Like, I can imagine some of them. Uh, it's a scavy boy. He's over there. On the ground. You know, and initially they weren't stupid because what I had to do is guess what? I had to research it. I had to understand it. Now, how much money are we spending relative to our capability to spend? Let's go. Oh. I'm gonna die. Stand by. I just lay down. Got it. Oh, they naded. Are you dead? No. I'm uh, dead now. I killed one. Bro, who camps the Trying to find your body so that I can watch it. I'm right at the tower, right below the tower. You know if you're on my side of the tower? I was on the side we approached from. Okay. 
I've killed one of them. I killed him right as you died. I wonder if there was only one. No, there or was did... two. I, I saw two. Did that first nade damage you at all? That was my nade. No, no, no. The okay. second one. I, I thought I threw it away from you, but still towards them. Yeah, nah, just the second one. The worst part is, is I put a headshot on that guy as he threw the second grenade. And it must have given me a body. Because he went prone right as he threw it, and then when he went prone is when I killed him. Dope if I didn't have to look through a kaleidoscope. Saw the second guy. Or I rotated out. I need to get somewhere where I can see Brent's body. got to be a graphic setting or something. Is that a fucking dude right there? Uh -uh. Very exposed on this side. Hey, if you just want to dip out, you can bring the sniper back next round too. One more motherfucker that I want to kill, though. There's a body beside you. Or you walked over or something. Yeah, no. Uh... It's cheeky breaky boy. You do kind of need that armor. Yeah, I'll get it eventually. Don't worry about it. Okay. If I die, I die. Going in. Hello, friends. I say I might have rotated back onto a bush. What happened to this guy? Where did this guy come from? Is this our second dude? I'm about to drop on this dude and get shot in the face. Tag's gone. That's interesting. Were you using a mechanic backpack? Nah, 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 nah. That's weird, dude.
I wonder if that body was there before we just didn't notice. I don't know. Cause I can't say that I looked there to be honest when we came when we came up. I didn't either. He's got weird shit in his bag. Strange. Drinks nice. It's a weird kid a load a bit of loot there. Whoa, bro. And he had no tag on him either. Yeah, so maybe it was already there. And it's just those guys killed him, didn't loot the body yet. Yeah, but they took the tag. There's my dead guy right there. So his boy is probably holding that body. Unless the second dude I saw was a scav. In the words of the wise Biggie Smalls. My man Imp left a tech and a nine in my crib. True motherfucker going out for the loot. Big guy here. Hello? Hello, dickhead. Dead guy right there. A lot of dead guys. A lot of dead dudes. Ronnie is on the case. Maybe the nade you threw killed the second guy. No. No, not a chance. Based on where I saw the second guy. He's in a fucking bush. You know I was going to say, maybe he's in a bush right beside you. That's a log. Pew pew. There's a log. There's a log. I want to get one of his rifles off of him real quick. Oh, give me a right. Give me a rifle. Oh, there we go. BS ammo. Or F. PS ammo. I thought you said BS. I was like, sheesh. <laughs> He's got the goods. Yeah, he can't get blood. Baby, yeah. Kill level two. It's a nice helmet. I'll take it. You need to eat and drink, so you might as well take I just took his uh, food and... Oh, there's a dog tag. Okay. You can drop your ears and take his. Yeah, my only problem with that is going through the process to actually drop mine. Oh, this process. Give me, give me. All right. Dope, dope, dope. Drop. Give me. Bye. I'll try to get your this body. This is mine, and this is mine. I mean, I don't have anything else on me, really. Yeah, I know, but I wanna, I wanna loot your shit. <laughs> oh, there you are. You're very dead over here. You look terrible. You okay? I was mergulated. Milk! Oh, you had some stuff. I picked all that up, though. Uh huh. I'll take that to Shanka for sure. Sorry. Got some BT ammo, dude. Can you put the mandible on one of the helmets you have? Or no? Mm -mm. Ooh, party favors. Oh yeah, I have grenades. I got a PP.
Oh, I got PP real bad. Let me go. It's a log at the bottom of the sea. Fish a retina coming? Yeah, per slot, you know, it'll give me a little bit of money right now. Yeah, binos? No. I think they have. Didn't they add a set of binos? Daddy's coming in. What's up, nerds? Yes, ammo. All right, put it back in. Put, 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 put. We made it. Uh, what's your ammo master job? I'm an Intel weenie by trade. 35 Fox. Yeah, I killed uh, just the two PMCs. You want to run back then? You want to do something else? Uh, we can run back. See if we can get your uh, your quest. Yeah, I only want to try it once. Uh... I'll do it another time. Yep. First raid uh, on, I pulled a GPU and armor repair. Lucky. That guy's a hacker. Are you hacking? All right. Uh, I'm literally just running all this shit. I just pulled out of there. I'm gonna run that SV98 with my kaleidoscope. Attached to it. We dope. Put some extra BT in the butt, though. There are so many people in this lobby. It's crazy. Bum, bum, bum. Highest level I've seen so far is eight. Oh, that, that, makes, that, that makes me not feel so bad about being level four. There's a tenner. I have friends. You guys are welcome to send me friend requests in Tarkov because we, we play uh, Friday nights as a community. And we're going to start that earlier this wipe than we ever have before. So we're starting that this Friday. We're going to... I'll be, I'll be inviting you guys to raids. Alright. Uh, character... I'm oh, good. Do I have everything I need? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good, good. Got my M9. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Let me turn this shit in real quick. I have a task from Jaeger. Beef stew. Sure. Sure, all that shit. Have they added in the bear AI on streets yet, or is that later? Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure, bro. Oh, good night, Tony. Thanks for being here, buddy. Ready up. Slow down? What am I slowing down for? Maybe you should keep up. You guys want to know the next launch from Bunker? The next big deal? You talk too fast? I'm sorry. Oh, picking your stuff. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's, that's just what comes with time in the game. 
Got that Psyops pack and be our next army e-girl. I'm already the army e-girl. Who says I wasn't already? What the F, man? I've been working for that. I even did bathtub stuff. Like this. Had the PP. Hot top stream one. No, I already did that. <sighs> I've actually I've thought about it. It's like a satire kind of thing. See all my hamburger meat. Oh, yummy, yummy. No. No, I said it in my head. Would you talk about what it's like running the app? Yeah, absolutely. It's a lot of work, dude. Um, because we are top to bottom custom built. We don't rely on third parties under 99% of circumstances. The only third party we are reliant on is a video player. Um, it's pretty easy to find out that we use the Rumble video player. I don't think that's foreign. It's not something we talk about a whole lot because we're not very... I mean, it's, it's dope. We're happy to use Rumble, but we want our own. Um, but it's an, it's an intense amount of work. Uh, everything from, you know, making sure those that have subscribed to him get an email every day with the latest videos that we've posted to minor tweaks and changes that affect the app that don't affect the website. Um, that's actually my nine to five. Hey, baby girl. Oh, is this, is this my game? Oh, perfect. Thank you. My Christmas present. Uh, it's an intense amount of work and that consumes uh, nearly 90% of mine and Funker's day, more so his than mine. My job as a, from a nine to five perspective is actually managing our industry relationships. So we have relationships with like ATN, AR500, Arbor Arms, uh, previously Vet TV, Hardhead Veterans. Uh, I have a personal relationship with them as well. Big fan of theirs. Um, so I am our partner manager. Uh, Funker runs most of the development back end. Uh, there's a dev team that supports us. If you guys go to the about, to the meet the team section of the website, you'll be able to see each of our roles and it all kind of comes, meshes together to create the, the entirety of the platform. I, you know, I also manage portions of the YouTube, not all of it, um, and some of the Facebook. Uh, Will manages a lot of the Instagram. Uh, Josh mostly focuses on blogging. Uh, but Funker himself tends to rewrite a lot of the code, too. Show meter, it didn't happen. You like you, Gemma? Mmm. Very nice. I like you. Yeah, there's a lot more that goes into the... You know, we get kind of lumped in with just other YouTube channels. And I'm not saying... I run two... I operate two YouTube channels. I can tell you how much effort goes into those. In an immense amount. But we... The, the depth and breadth of the 530 platform with the amount of team members that we have is almost too big from a controllability perspective. The challenge that we run into is we, re we refuse to do a certain, th a few things that would allow us to just line our, line our pockets, right? We, we just will not do them. 
I don't want to go too far down that because it's kind of virtue signaling, but we, the, the only expansion we're able to do right now is technological, right? Uh, introducing new capabilities rather than expanding from a personnel resource perspective. Uh, so the next expansion of ours is actually going to be something we tested with me. Uh, when I did the, the full test, two test videos so far of the site mark and of AR500's um, C C2 plates. Um, that was by design to see if we were able to, with everything else that we have going on, put together full reviews uh, that we could eventually just provide value. The most important thing is value, not necessarily that we believe ourselves to be experts, more that you know we're able to provide opinions clearly and concisely. Does that make sense? People want your reach, yes, yeah, correct. Very much. Our app is a big deal. It is. There are over 300,000 downloads of the Funker 530 app. I, there's no way to I, I'm, I, it, it, it's a big deal we're very proud of that a lot of time and energy and, and Funker gets a lot of credit for that 90% 90, 90%, not including the development credit of course driving and bringing that to fruition it was all him all him of course you have folks like me right my it, Josh let's talk about Josh and Will without content the website doesn't exist the app doesn't exist right without our partners that align with us and invest back into us you know, to help tell their message. We're not able to invest back in the development of the app. Right? We're, we, we're four, five dudes deep when you, when you count the dev team. That's it. I just joined, thought this stream was two hours of bathtub. It could be. 20 bucks is 20 bucks, dude. Sounds like a clean operation. It's streamlined. We, we each know our lanes. You know, we give each other shit for our lanes all the time. Um, like when you guys are, you know, hitting me on the head with footage, I'm hitting the guys on the head. Right? I'm like, Get it. what are you waiting for, nerds? And then, of course, they give me shit. They're like, what do you do around here? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I get coffee. I don't know what to do with my hands. Five Guys Burger and Fries? Dude, I would love a Five Guys Burger right now. Oh my goodness. Oh, that sounds so good. Were you guys Live Leak? No, we don't ever want to be considered in the same plane as Live Leak. Live Leak sir, ha has its purpose and had its purpose. The problem with that is it was mindless, right? It was just videos. Where we, where we try to bridge the gap, is provide context from Josh, Will, myself when I post it, when I when I can provide context. Uh, Funker has blogged some things before. Instead of just posting kind of mindless war porn or gore porn, we, we want to focus on footage that tells a story of what war looks like. Right? I've looked at it, I've looked at it from a lens now of 15 years at, you know, in the intelligence realm. Um, Josh and Will, both Purple Heart recipients, those dudes were on ground, you know, experiencing at the very tactical levels. Uh, Funker as well. What we are hoping to do is take those perspectives and apply context against the footage that we find. Now, we catch a lot of shit because people think we don't, we purposefully don't post things. The challenge, the biggest challenge that we run into is time and resources. If we had a 10 person blogging team to capture every piece of footage that's out there, we would do it. We would do it. And we'd post it. But we don't. We have Josh and we have Will. Those are our primary writers. Need more interns. We do need more intern interns. Hello. I tried to do the premium sub to the site, uh, but it wouldn't take my visa. Did that get fixed? Uh, I wasn't aware that we were having an issue with that. Yeah, we, 
That's actually a challenge of ours, Kimber. Is for a long time, the Funker 530 platform was the YouTube, right? So it was all raw footage. That's just what we posted. It was raw raw footage. That's where you could go to just see the, see what was happening. We saw what was happening to us. We, we're currently under, under threat of being unpublished from Facebook. We uh, are on our third strike on YouTube. We can't do raw footage on social media anymore, especially not when it's now it's now a business. We're trying to make it into a business. So what we chose to do is focus more intently on the app. That's where the raw is. That's where that's where the soul of Funker 530 is. Now we're expanding that to try and provide a little bit of context. That's where the work that you guys have seen me do comes in. But it's not just me. Josh is prepping for it as well. Will has done forward-facing content for us. He went to Ukraine. For God's sakes. Don't go that way. Hey, 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 boss. Don't run through there. Don't run through there. Once again, we are... So, if last if last game we were in the worst position, we're in the second worst position to get this done. I love that. Yeah, it's dope, right? You know, we're by no means perfect, dude. Um, but I am very privileged to get the opportunity to work with these guys and to try and make this a career and you know, support my family with it. No, it doesn't, D'Angelo. Uh, I wouldn't be using it if it did. The delay he's talking that D'Angelo is talking about. Battle State said that it was purposeful because of how heavy the SV-98's trigger pull is in real life. I think it was just a bug, and they were covering it up. It's just me. There's an Aquamara in here that I'll never touch if you want it. And some Lupo beans. Food is worth its weight in gold right now. If you find a little bag or anything, let me know. Yeah, yeah. There's uh, an MPX drum. There's some good stuff in this right here. I oh. can't pick it up because I didn't bring a bag or anything. There's an FM, which is obviously great. Put that FN in your butt, boss. Uh, we should move off of this. There's gonna be there's gonna be some sweaty nerds pushing this here soon. Uh, we can go to try and get you a gun real quick if you want. Sure. Oh. Yeah, I just took that. Yeah, I'm wrapping back around the other way. Yeah, I'm coming. Heard it, obviously. Didn't see it. Where'd it hit you? Oh, no, no, no. I, but it was just in my direction. Gotcha, gotcha, yeah, yeah, gotcha, I'm gotcha. good. I'm, I'm good. Um, so this would be the long way to our objective, but... Probably the safer route. Unless somebody's wrapping backside, which is a pretty common loot path. I think so, Edward. The problem is his weight right now. I'm already overweight. And I, I want to be able to regen. Don't want to carry too much. Oh, there's a damn stash right here. Uh huh. There's more stashes on woods than shoreline, but I don't know them well. People swear by woods, man. 1911 on there. I'll pass. It's a spitball gun. The FM was a nice one. Mm hmm. Had yeah. 10 rounds in it, I think. Five. Oh. There should be bad guys up here. I'm 
see more people running it. Uh, it's more, it's pretty common early wipe. And they made some updates to it last wipe. There's some really dope attachments for it now. Which weapon? The SV-98. They've got the new stocks and whatnot for it. Oh, I hear people yeah, by the yeah. tower. I hear him, I just don't see him. Is that at you? Or? No, it's me shooting at Scav. Yeah, he's right. No, Brad, Jerry's. He's dead. No. You can come take his gun. Is he internal? No, he's right next to the blue container. These sounds are wild. He's got Hello. a shoddy. Going internal. When the game's out of beta, I'll play again. Oof. Ooh. Um, so, never? I don't know when this is going to be, boss. I'm going to be honest with you. Hey, Hex Rex, I'm not sure if I said this, but thanks for the $1.99, boss. Thanks, guys. Yeah, so I started playing Tarkov in 2019. I looked at that today, actually. Um... I purchased EOD in 2019 at least. I played for a few months on Prepare for Escape. Get rid of this bright white beard. I don't want the beard. Oh my god, I just stepped all over that guy's guitar. I assume you're downstairs, yeah? Mm hmm. Yes, sir. Coming up. Chilling up here. Keep wrapping. Let's keep wrapping back side here. Oh, oh man. I thought I said BS for a second. I was about to get excited. Hmm. It's actually something I want to save up for eventually is an HHS 1 or 2. Basically, an EOTech with a hollow. I had an EOTech 512 a long time ago. I deployed with it, my first deployment. It was a personal one. I flopped out my uh, CCO for it. But in a rough, a rough patch, I had to sell it for some money. But I didn't hate the EOTech at all. That being said, I've tested a, a few optics since that I mean, they're pretty good <laughs> as alternatives. But what I want is the whole system, you know. Oh, good night, Christian. Thanks for being here, buddy. Appreciate you very much for it. I've only got a couple, couple more raids in me. There's a fresh pack of armor to your left, right there. Always check underneath of that bunk. This little cot? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Too bad PSA isn't doing a sale on their AK-105s. Uh, they might be. Uh, I actually shared a link that way if you guys end up purchasing one does support the stream. Something I intended to do that I'll, I'll be trying to do more often is using affiliate marketing to help support income. When I find really great deals or something, I'll share those in the deals channel and in my link tree. They've got they've got blemished ARs right now from PSA that are normally about a grand that are going for like sub 500 bucks. And I was reading through the reviews and it's like five plus stars. Uh, I'm about to shoot a shot here. Oh my God, I'm nuts. But I, I put a link for that in the uh, deal of the day Discord. Caveman should be out there. I, I, I saw him earlier. He might have he might have since separated. Oh 
I'm very sleepy. Yeah, I'm getting tired. I'm in a game, but yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna go check this stash up here. is a Mew Mew. <laughs> I want it just because of the name of it, dude. It's a type of cat. Meow. Meow. But th that blemished AR, I thought about that pretty heavily. You know, especially once I read the comments and it was like, e there's no blemish. <laughs> I don't know what the blemish is. I'm getting a lot of like little tiny D things. It's better than a sharp stick. Somebody's on the other side of this building for me. Heard. Oh, I see it. He's going across the street as well. Heard it. Can't see it. Oh, I see him. Nice kill. Nice kill. I missed my shots. I'm here with you. I think he hit the dirt, maybe? Did you lay down? I did. Oh, okay. He's in here then. Maybe not. Alright. Dope. Weird. Wait, why is my vision blurry? Oh god, I'm exhausted. Gotta eat. Eat your food, son. I'm Just leading him too much, I think. He needs some meal. Gold chain is stashed. There was a gold chain there? Oh, shit. Oops. There's a spawn up here for gold chains. Where's this body? I don't know. Does he not die? Whoa. Oh, he's dead. Yeah, I watched him. I watched him die. Spectacularly. If you keep going down the road, there's going to be a house eventually on your left. Yeah, on the left that you can jump. You can get. Yeah, I remember it vaguely. Oh, it's, it's actually like right in front of you. I went too far. There's good. There's some pretty good loot in there. What's this change light has? Yeah. This was a couple patches ago. It's not this one, it must be the next one. That one is closed. There's a gold chain spawn right here. Whoa. Ah, yes, vodka. Hmm. Milk! Do you need food? Water? Anything? I'm good. What the heck is this? Pack of buckwheat. What the heck? We need some buckwheat, I gotcha. I'm gonna move. Oh, I did just find BS for real this time. Which way you headed? Down the road further. The way we same, were heading? The same direction, yeah. We need to start cutting in. Um, oh, they changed the hot rod can. It looks different now. Yeah, it's not a Red Bull can anymore. Red Bull must have came knocking at Nikita. I'm surprised the gun manufacturers haven't. They don't. Maybe. If I'm not mistaken, they don't have agreements with the gun manufacturers for like the Burris and Razor HD, all that shit. They don't have agreements with them. They're just doing that shit. 
You like that OnlyFans content, Green Diesel? Mm-hmm. Yeah, buddy. I'm not sure where you are, but I'm just running. Just keep on getting it down the road. And I'll shoot you in the face. Ouch. Like along that road that we were fighting on. There you are. Hello, friend. How's the snake out of bitch you? Wanna go right here? Uh, yeah. Sort of, kinda. I mean, there's still... Actually, no. No, not yet. Keep moving down the road. These little stutters are kind of annoying. I don't know what's going on. I'm not getting them. I expect this from streets, but not here. Woods typically runs pretty good. I know. Check my settings real quick and make sure for some reason I didn't come out of full screen. I'm on borderless. I'm gonna start cutting in now. This will take us up to where sniper scav is. Yeah, the sounds are so bad. Like you're running a good 15 meters from me, but it sounds like you're. On I'm top stomping of me. on your face. Yeah. Ronnie won't tell me unless I subscribe. Click the link, Bo. Exclamation point only fans, dude. Just click the link. I don't know what to tell you, dude. I'd be surprised with how aroused you actually get. I didn't even click the link and I... Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm hungry. I think I've got some range time tomorrow, though. Got a couple of videos to make. This gonna be fun. Need to do some work with the camera, though. Uh, sniper scav is up over there. I think. Okay. I saw something and then it kind of. We can't. We can't get to there from here, right? We have to go around. Yeah. Yeah, you can. Oh, we can. Mm -hmm. Follow, Runny. So there's a little ledge here. When you get to the point to where you can tell you're gonna fall, start backpedaling. Okay. You made it. And then jump. Oh, no, no, no. Oh. Eh. Eh. No. Eh. Okay, game. He sucked, dude. Oh, uh, like I'm floating. The, okay. Yeah, I was just I was just doing the same thing, like glitch through the rock. I'll take this time to drink. <laughs> he gets so aggravated. Some of you guys might know this. Some of you might not. But Brent and I were teammates way back. That wasn't that long ago. Was three years ago. For the PUBG military gaming league qualifiers and I have never heard a human being become so frustrated with me <laughs> but we did come in first and got to go to Vegas and compete against the other teams 
We just sucked it up in Vegas. Where would Sniper Scav be? Up on top of this rock. To the right or to the left? Up here. It depends. He, he goes back and forth here. Do, 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 do. I thought he, I thought I saw him. Somebody might have shot him and he fell off. Yeah, he ain't up here. I've never seen him not spawn though. Elite pro gamer. Mm -hmm. Yep. Professional. Technically, we were paid. Did you ever get paid? I got paid. Yeah. Yeah. Well. What, what did we make? Like 150 bucks? Ah, oh, no, it was a little more than that. No. Yeah, for sure. You got more than that? For, yeah, like, yeah. I don't remember how much it was, but it wasn't it. It wasn't much. Yeah, it wasn't crazy. Like, I don't know. Like, so yes, not, I have been played like, to game before. Or anything, so. It's not like what? It's not how I paid off the Lambo or anything. <laughs> no, 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 no. That was the uh, street corner. About a gallon of gas. <laughs> right, here we Have you spawned again, separately from your duo yet? No, I haven't. Is that a is that an issue? Why you do this? Ow! Hey, do that to me again. People ask me all the time, like, Ronnie, why do you run your flashlight in the daytime? That's why. <laughs> Can't see ah. shit. Ah! It burns the pupils. Have any two out of five race today? Yikes, man. All right. So this will be, what, uh, raid number three trying to do this? No, oh, number two. No. No. We came here once before. We came here twice oh, before. We both yeah, died yeah. over at the uh, over at the mm -hmm, fob. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I'm gonna rotate to the back side here with the with the big boy gun. I can't see any nerds camping that shit. Opposite sides of customs, completely different extracts. Oh my god. Brent, what a rage quit. <laughs> all right, I, I, I don't know if you're clear or not, but I, I ran all the way up here. I feel clear. You're as clear. You're as clear as you want to be. Depends on your definition of clear. All right, when do we get out of here? Uh... Did you pick up the thing? Yeah. Oh, okay. Go this way. With these stashes. <sighs> I like to eat. 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 Apples and bananas. That's a baby, by the way. Good. Get big. Basically, an adult on this one. Yeah. <laughs> She's two going on 25. Yeah. Yeah. And then should have the second here in like a week. Oh, that's right. Number two is coming. Very far along. Very close. We don't have outskirts, do we? We do have outskirts. We gotta turn around and go back the other fucking way, dude. Oh, what? We have outskirts. That means oh, we gotta no. go across lumber. Oh, no. Oh, no. Wait, what is ZB14? Uh, that's the one over by outskirts. Not okay, that one. Okay, buddy. <laughs> Honestly, I wasn't even paying attention to that at all. Nope. Alright, where are you now? Uh, do we want to go check medical since we gotta go this way? Almost anyway? back to Jaeger stash. Yeah, I'm gonna run across the field. Fuck it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Bo says congrats on the babies. Thank you. I see a guy running across the uh, field. Couldn't be me. I'm gonna get him. All right, hear me out. Tarkov hard mode. You have to use a wheelchair. <laughs> what the fuck am I doing here? Did you pick here? bear? No, that's not me. Oh, really? That's interesting. He's on metal somewhere. Yeah. I heard him. Wonder if it's a AI or a player. I don't know. I'm going in the front door though. Yeah, I'm already in. Hello. One, what? Wontons. I'm down low. Yeah. Somebody just them? followed me in the front. 100%. Good one. Whoa! It sounds like one's above me. I'm above you. No, no, I'm in the corner. I watched you kill the guy. There's one more here somewhere. I'm gonna walk towards the front door right now. Okie dokie. I'm not paying Finally attention. Quiz. That was him. He dead? He gone. Okay. I mean, I assume this is all looted, but I'll double check. Yeah, I don't see any anything in any of this. I did get a lap ski on like my first or second raid. Did you? Yeah. I think I went all last wipe and played labs once and it was like three weeks ago <laughs> i just love labs man mm. Special fried rice. What? Speaking of which, while I was trying to set the stream up today with Root or with Yuri, not Rudy. Oh, we are gonna. By the way, we are gonna be streaming with Rudy from um, Josh Show. That'll be happening. Um, while I was setting the stream up today with Yuri, I'm like simultaneously chomping. Uh, the missus made this awesome lo mein, homemade lo mein, and I'm probably going to hammer a bunch of that down when I get off the stream. The BTMO is golden. I'm definitely taking that. Yeah, I put some BS in my butt. Alright, I'm moving. We got ways to go. We only got 11 minutes, actually. That's plenty of time. I made it from here to there in three. You won't do it. <sighs> Getting hungry? Yeah, I'm hungry. I'm always hungry, though. As soon as we get off here, I'm going to go kick back on the couch. This is going to sit down and I'm going to say, Mama, she's going to be like, what do you want? <laughs> I don't know. I'm hungry. What do you want? I don't know. She's hungry. I don't like, I don't like 
I love to cook. Let me let me get that out of the way. I don't like going to the fridge and making stuff off of meal hours. I don't know what it is about that. I think it's got something to do... When I grew up, my mom always cooked for, like, meals. Or she she bought for meals, right? So if she was buying something, it was because... I'm going to check the shack real quick. Okay. If she was buying something, it was because she needed that to make a meal. But there wasn't, like, a whole lot of snack food to go for. So I think I've, I'm, like, conditioned to not make myself snack food. I don't know. My kaleidoscope doesn't see anything on the other side. Uh, Muck, there is, um... Uh, first of all, try not to... Don't, don't talk so sexy to me. Uh, second of all, there is a P.O. box... <laughs> ...listed... ...in the stream description. Are you walking towards the shack? Uh, no. I am now. Me. Hi. Hello. There's nobody around your shack. Ah, oh, this audio. Hopefully, there's a patch there. Zombian? Oh man, is it spicy? That sounds awesome. I love spicy food. But not just like your standard spicy food either. I mean like other culture spicy food. Oh yeah. <sighs> cooking stream when? Dude, I've done a cooking stream before. It was a long time ago. That would have been like 2019, 2018. I don't know. Just me, myself. And uh, probably my phone. <laughs> Cooked steak. I made steak, potatoes, Hasselbeck potatoes, specifically, and broccoli. And then I ate it. And then I haven't done it since. I've been trying to figure out a way to do, like if I'm smoking something on the, if I've got something on the smoker, you know, one of the reasons I don't typically stream on the weekends is I'm either cooking something or we're away doing something. So if I'm just cooking something on the smoker, I've been trying to figure out a way to have a smoker camera. Right? I gotta be careful. I mean, I can't, like, put a camera up every room in my house, you know? But having a camera down there by the smoker would be dope. You know one thing that I've never liked about this game is that they and like their trash spawns, you know, with like the litter on the ground, they have the packs of cigarettes there. Oh sure. It's like such a tease. Like, come on, man. <laughs> Got me out here looking for five packs of peace, and these ain't real. Well the smoker camera would be would be for like uh Be right back. Gotta go check the smoker. I would flip to the smoker camera. Let me check on the meat. Um, I don't know. Is your body here? Pop a beer. Now if we're doing some ribs or we're doing uh, pork shoulder or something like that. Meat cam? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we could have a meat cam. That doesn't have to be just during the smoking, though. Know? <clears throat> no, we could have we could have a meat cam now. I mean, I've got I've got this one. So. Mm. Oh, very nice. You likey? Ooh, meat cam. Mm. Uh, good night, Ricky. Thanks for being here, man. There's a uh, blood on the ground here. I'm hyperventilating. There's a dead man here. Well, many loots. 
Discord call to yourself on a laptop would be a cheapo way to do it. No, I'm looking for something I can integrate with OBS. The two tower setup? Yeah, I've been running a two PC setup now since probably early 2020. The third tower is over there for the Funker stream. That was the first PC I ever built. That thing is on its last leg. There's a dude over there that I want to shoot right in his fucking head. Oh. Oh, there he goes. Scabby, come back. There's a lot of fucking scabs. Oh my god, dude. There's so many. Wow, he's shooting at me from over there. Gotta go. It's just a scab. I bet I oh, I shot the rock. Wah, wah, wee, wah. He's gonna toss you. I've already been eight and a half millimeter buckshot to the face once this wipe. Once is enough. I was there and I seen it. I really want to kill one of these guys at least though. Get that good XP with the headshot. Is that a guy? Right there? What is that? Okay. No, that's not a guy. That's a that's, that's a log. Oh. Stop, stop. stop. Sir. I see him. Ow, ow, ow. I'm dying. I can't. Oh my god. I've got a heavy bleed now. He laid down, and he can see us, but we can't see him. Hold on. He's gone. Oh, what the fuck? Did he kill you? Oh, I'm dead too? We must have died to a player. I died to Porphyry and Portney. I was so much further back than you. Yeah, that's what killed me too. That one, oh, Jesus Christ, it's John Wick. What just happened? Are you kidding me? I was, I should have extracted. Oh. <laughs> Dude, I was, I was a good 30 meters behind you and running down a hill and he still headshot me. I hate this fucking game, dude. How can I have this many hours in the game and that happen? I think every once in a while they crank those things up. Man. Like... Like the game knew we were, we had spent the last 40 minutes. We were in there for 36 minutes. Jesus. Uh, that, makes my soul, that makes my soul hurt. <laughs> I'm not going back there tonight, boss. Oh no, I already said if, if we, I'm not, I, I don't <laughs> like that map enough to go back there a bunch. <laughs> I, that's my last raid. I'm done, bro. I can't, I can't, I can't talk. I have any more tonight. I just, I just can't. I, I understand. All right, buddy. We'll catch you. Take it easy. All right. I just can't. I can't do it, guys. Hi, kitty. You guys haven't seen my sister-in-law's cat. She's been living in my stream room with me. Hi, kitty. Such a pretty girl. She's a fat girl. All right, guys. I'm out of here. Um, thanks for hanging out with me tonight. You know, I try not to go too far down rabbit holes and in, and engage in shit that uh, brings us down. Because we like to have fun, man. You know? that's we, We've had so much fun here and done so many cool things and impacted so many people in a positive way that it that it just kills me that every so often we we get remnants of people that are just ill or misinformed about shit um but i appreciate everybody here's patience thanks for being here it's awesome you know uh it will there will be some rando day streams you know since tarkov wipe is back and you know only three times a week playing will will set me way way far back uh behind everybody else but uh, I don't think we'll be live tomorrow. I'm going to be on the range tomorrow. Uh, Brother-in-law's coming back up. We're going to shoot his... He's bringing a lever action for me. 30-30. He's bringing a... Um, 
a the uh what is it called shockwave shotgun you know with the pistol grip i'm looking forward to that one and i'm gonna let him shoot the vector and all that stuff so that'll be we'll be doing that in the afternoon um so the next time i'll be live is probably going to be sometime friday i don't know if there'll be a day stream or not um but at the latest six o'clock for the funker stream and then right back here it'll be community night so if you guys play tarkov and you want to get back into it or you're or you're you're itching for it I'll, I'll talk with our sherpa team and see if one of them can be an escort with me and th that way we can try and work together on leveling up some quests we'll continue to work that on fridays it will probably be nerf night i want to say ahead of time that if you guys do send in something for for nerf uh, since we're not presently driving against the fit pc it's going to come back to benefit the stream and i appreciate it i'm out of here good night uh bye bye my thing doesn't work We'll see you Friday. Don't do anything stupid. You'll get videos.